What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. Today we're going to be looking at part two of our Write in Two lesson. So picking up where we left off last lesson from part one, we're into the breakdown of the song and there's really not much going on here except a nice tabla solo. So try to count your way through that so you can ad lib through it. I know the tool does live, so feel free to do whatever you want or listen to check out what they do or what Adam Jones does. If you get lost in the tablet solo and you don't know where you are, on the one of every long phrase of 11, Danny hits a nice low kick or a low hand drum, whatever's going on there. It's always on the downbeat of one. So if you get lost, listen for that. So you'll be going through and then at some point you're gonna hear a nice cymbal hit. And that's where we're gonna pick up right now. Jones is playing some little stuff before that, but again, feel free to ad lib or do what you'd like, okay? We're gonna pick up right from that cymbal hit. And basically what we're doing is we're playing fifth note D on your A string and third fret C on our A string. And it's gonna be the same notes that we jump to on the low string as well. So we're playing. <laughs> Right? So you're basically you're going to play through that phrase three times. And you can hear it kick in before that, but that's where it kind of gets really definitive. So like I said, if you want to ad lib with those notes, put on some delay, hit some chords, whatever you want to do, feel free, improvise, have some fun with it. No, no reason why you can't do that, especially in a live situation. So we're coming out of that. Like I just said, we're going to play. <laughs> And then basically you start adding some 16th notes to that D note. Notice I play a little pinch harmonic there. And then the third time, it's essentially the same thing. Right? And you're really kind of starting to pick a little bit harder and that's gonna take us right to the main riff. And it's the same notes, just now on our low D string. Again, we're in drop D tuning for those who missed the first half of this lesson. And if you missed the first half of this lesson, the link for the tabs is in the description below. So download it, check it out so you can follow along. Okay? So now we're going to jump into everybody. The whole band kicks in nice and heavy. We're still on our long phrase of 11-4. Still broken up in three measures of three and one measure of two. Right? And we're going to play open D and 10. So you have your open D, which is the D note. And then you have the 10th fret, which is that note C. And it's just open in 10. And that's that measure of two, okay? So we're gonna play that riff four times and then the guitar is gonna drop out and it's just the verse and essentially the bass is gonna be playing the part that we're gonna play next, really angry and really aggressive, right? So we got that coming out of here. low your open D chord and drop out right and notice that when I play that on the on that fourth measure of that phrase give your give that note a nice nice vibrato little bend all right so again you're gonna drop out for a little bit your phrase is gonna kick in you're gonna get a chord scrape in and now you're back and now we're gonna do a variation of the riff we're just playing and this like I said is the riff that the bass player has been playing right so it's essentially the same thing but we're gonna add in those 16th notes two times each two on 10 two on open two on 10 okay same riff just we're doing that to it now we're gonna play that twice and then we're gonna play a, a, another variation of the same riff I like to do I like to play it that way basically we're still doubling up our notes kind of we're doubling up on the 10 and then we're gonna reach down to our open D string and back up like 
that, right? So let me put those two phrases back to back with each other. And then we start doing that. And this is where Jones starts to kind of go off and add a kind of polymetric feel to everything that's going on. So basically what we're doing is playing 10 and 12 and then resting, right? So you have three eighth notes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you're implying this three eight feel or phrase over what's going on. So it's kind of, it moves to different spots of the measure through the phrase, okay? So you're gonna go through the phrase of 11-4 twice, right, with that, with that idea. And you, you, so you can either think about it like that, or you can think about you're actually going 15 times. Okay, maybe that helps, maybe that doesn't. Okay, so you can do that 15 times, and then you're gonna change it again, another variation. And now Jones makes it longer, and he actually makes a riff that equals 11-8, right? So again, another kind of polymetric idea that's going on, and he's playing off that. Right, and if you, Look at the music, look at the tabs, you'll see that that one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's my 11, eight, five, and six is 11, right? So you do that twice within the one phrase of 11, four, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and play through that section, okay? But I guess before I do that, I should explain a little bit more. Right, so you're gonna play that, how many times? One, two, three times, twice. Play that twice. So you're actually playing, right, four times. And then on the second phrase, so the second two times, times three and four, I know that's confusing. You're basically gonna start tremolo picking that, just picking it as fast as you can. And then you're gonna go into the, right? Again, three full times, meaning six times of one phrase. Again, I know that's a little bit confusing for some, but bear with me, it's there. It's gotta explain it both ways, right? So now, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, coming out of that verse with the angry bass line, and I'll try to play through it. Hopefully I don't get lost, I'm not playing with the music. So, it's in my head, so here we go. Uh... back to that riff, okay? So when you land back on that riff, you're gonna go through it four times, just like you normally do, but again, another variation, on that fourth phrase through that, you're actually gonna drop down the third position. Right, you're gonna go through that. You're gonna move it down three, five, and three. And you can do a little a little open the three hammer on right there but just be careful that you don't speed up because it's really easy to, to start doing the, the rolling triplets and we don't necessarily want to do the rolling triplets right so coming out of that riff on that fourth time again we're gonna do another variation right so on that fourth time right you can do open instead of going you're gonna go open 12 13 okay and then it's gonna bring you back to a riff that we did before a riff from earlier back in part one so you'll see it in the tabs there so don't worry about that but I think it's a little different here that might add one or two little notes to it but
but essentially it's open, open D, 5, 7, open 8, 10, 8, open 5. 5, 10, open, 14, 12. So you're only gonna do that one time. So we're coming out of this part. So again, that's the, that's the ending of the variation from back in part one. Where you play the 057. Eight, eight, ten. Slide down the third position. On five. Okay, so we did that in part one, right? So they combine those two sections. So everything from this point on is straight repeat from the first part, okay? I'll run through it really fast. Basically you have 077, slide up to eighth position. Third position on the A string power chord, C to D. And then when you slide up to D, add the extra low string, okay? play that you put just fade out of that. I think it's this one All right, you just rinse and repeat and fade until you're at the end of the song so the second half of the song is a lot of fun it's where most of the energy of the song is that's where a lot of the most rhythmic play comes in and it's obviously it's a lot heavier and it's, it's all a lot of variation going through that so that's why I recommend just downloading the tab follow along listen to the song it helps okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this write and two lesson. As always, let me know what you come up with. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.